following video is a recap of GoFest 2024. Welcome to Lewis's Adventures Plays Pokemon Go with me, Lewis Manucci, as your host. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for alerts of when I upload new content to the channel, especially those with disability similar to mine. In this video, I cover Global Go Fest 2024. Join me as I not only hunt for Marshadow, but also a ton of shiny Pokemon as well as Necroza. This should be very fun. Good morning everyone. It is day one of Go Fest and I'm coming to you here from my room in the Fairmount section of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And our adventure has just I'm in front of the Eastern State Penitentiary and moments ago I just caught my first shiny for this Go Fest and a brand new one, Ferro Seed. Stay tuned to see if I can. I'm about to catch more Shadow. Stay tuned to see the final result. And I just caught more Shadow, everyone. So far, it's good and this is the latest mythical Pokemon added to my collection and my Pokemon. And I just caught my second shiny for GoFest 2024. A Espeon with the Scar. Stay tuned to see if I can catch more shinies either today or tomorrow. And I just caught my third shiny of this GoFest. A Jotarian Torsola. Stay tuned to see if I can get more for GoFest. And I just caught my fourth shiny of GoFest. Another Jotarian Corsola. I am definitely on a roll. Stay tuned to see if I can get some more. And I just caught shiny number five, everyone. My second shiny of a Wallaby ever. Hopefully I'll be able to catch some more shinies today. If not, then there's day two. My final shiny count for day one of Go Fest 2024 is five. Hopefully I'll catch some more tomorrow. In the meantime, stay tuned. a female Pikachu with the moon crown. 
I do apologize. I messed up as I was out in the heat and it's hot here in Philadelphia. Now back to your newly scheduled program. And moments ago, I just caught my fourth shiny. My first shiny dino since Dino Community Day. Which gives me a total of nine shinies for this go fest. Stay tuned to see if I can catch any more. And I just caught my fifth shiny for the day. My third Jokerian shiny Corsola. And my tenth shiny for go fest 2024. Still on a roll earlier when I caught my shiny Dunsparce. Actually, it was my fifth one. I messed up there. Now back to your new schedule. Earlier, I caught another shiny Necrozma inside the Eastern State Penitentiary, giving me a total of ten shinies for day two of GoFest Global 2024, giving me a total of. 15 shinies during this event and I was able to complete the special research and I just caught shiny number 11 a shiny golet giving me a total of 16 shinies for global go fest 2024 see if I can get some more before we close this video out. And I just caught my 12th shiny for GoFest. And it was another new one. A Moga. Give me a total of 17 shinies overall for GoFest. I just caught my 8th shiny, which was a Wingle. Give me a total of 13 shinies so far. As you see at the beginning of this video, I caught a lot of shinies this past weekend with a small number of them on Saturday and more on Sunday. And now I'm going to start with the special research stories, which I caught the star of this first one, and it is called a shadowy caper which features Mars Shadow if you bought the ticket within the in-game store to unlock this story. For step one, you had to spend three Pokestops or gems with your reward of two incense. Use an incense with your reward of 24 Pokeballs and catch 10 Pokemon with your reward of three Nana Berries. The total rewards for the step were 2,000 24 XP, 2 lore modules, and 2024 Stardust. For step 2, you had to complete 3 field research tasks with your reward of a Ducklet encounter. Use 5 berries to help catch Pokemon with your reward of 2 incubators. And catch 10 different species of Pokemon with your reward of a Dunsparce encounter. The total rewards for this step were... 2024 XP, 2 Poffins, and 2024 Stardust. For step 3, you had to hatch 2 eggs with your reward of 24 Great Balls, spin 10 Pokestops or Gems with your reward of an Emoga encounter, and earn 2 candies walking with your buddy with your reward of a Crab Brawler encounter, and the total rewards for the step were 2024 XP, a Maractus Encounter, and 2024 Stardust. For Step 4, you had to catch 10 Pokemon with your reward of 2 Star Pieces, evolve 5 Pokemon with your reward of 2 Silver Pineapple Berries, and earn 8,020 Stardust with your reward of a Jotarian Corsola Encounter, and the total rewards for this step were 2,000 24 XP, a Ball of the Encounter, and 2024 Stardust. For step 5, you had to power up a fighting type Pokemon 10 times with your reward of 2 Lucky Eggs. Power up a Ghost type Pokemon 10 times with your reward of a Rock Ruff Encounter. And earn 2020 XP with your reward of 3 Rare Candies. Rewards for this step were a Mars Shadow t-shirt, an encounter with Mars Shadow, and 2024 Stardust, and you claim the following rewards, 2000 
2024 XP, 2024 Stardust, and 2024 XP with your reward of... With, I mean, with the total rewards for 25 Marshadow candies, 25 Marshadow stickers, and a Lolan greeting pose. Please note, if you attended Go Fest in Sendai, Madrid, or New York, you already have caught Marshadow, so instead, your reward will be 25 Marshadow candies. And now, on to the other special research story, which came out on day two. And if you got the ticket, you unlock the last and final special research story. And this special research story is called The Dawn of a New Discovery. For step one, you have to spin three Pokestops or gyms with your reward of 20 Pokeballs. Catch 10 Pokemon with your reward of 3 Nana Berries. And complete two field research tasks with your reward of 100 XP. The total rewards for this step were three potions, a Sun Crown Pikachu encounter, and 100 Stardust. And after this point, you'll be given a choice of three steps. I mean, three paths with steps to choose. You either have to choose a Molga, Crab Brawler, or Duckling. I went with Duckling, so here we go. For step two, you had to catch seven Amoga, Crab Brawler, or Duckling with your reward of an encounter with these three Pokemon. Power up a Pokemon eight times with your reward of 20 Pokeballs, and evolve nine Pokemon with your reward of three Pineapple Berries. The total rewards for the step one, one Silver Pineapple Berry, a Cosmog encounter, and one Raspberry. And for step three, you have to explore one kilometer with your reward of three revives, battle in a raid with your reward of three super potions, and earn 2,000 XP with your reward of three max revives. The total reward for the step four, five Necrozma stickers, a Pikachu Moon Crown encounter, and ten Cosmog candies. And for the last and final special research story for this GoFest, which is called The Dust Settles, the only way to unlock this is if you bought the ticket for a shadowy caper, which you had to get to not only get more shadow, but also complete this special research story. For step one, you had to explore one kilometer with your reward of three super potions. Complete three field research tasks with your reward of 20 Pokeballs. And spin 10 Pokestops or gyms with your reward of two lucky eggs. The total rewards for this step were two fast TMs, a Necrozma encounter, and two charged TMs. And at this point, you had to choose the... There were two packs for this one. You had to choose either Basking in the Radiance or the Hidden in the Umbria packs. If you chose Basking in the Radiance, you'll be given a Soligo encounter an Espeon with a Scarf, as well as Solar Fusion Energies to fuse Soligo with Necrozma, or the hit, Hidden in the Umbria pack, which is what I went with, and I ended up getting a Lunala and Umbreon with Scarf Encounters and Lunar Fusion Energies to get Necrozma's Dawn Wings form. And if 
everyone will want the porn. Porn. Using the crowbar with the foam legal is the time dust made. For step two, you had to earn 800 stardust with your reward of two premium battle passes. Earn 800 XP with your reward of three hyper potions. And catch eight Pokemon with your reward of 800 stardust. The total rewards for the step were three hyper potions, a Jan Momo O encounter, and three revives. For step three, you had to catch 20 Pokemon with your reward of either an Espeon with the Scarf or Umbreon with the Scarf. Battle in five raids with your reward of three max potions and win three raids with your reward of a premium battle pass. The total rewards for the step were two Golden Raspberries, a Soul Ego or Lunana encounter. I mean, Lunana Nala. Silver pineapple berries. For step four, you have to catch ten psychic type Pokemon with your reward of ten Necrozma candies. Power up a steel or ghost type Pokemon 15 times with your reward of ten Cosma candies and make 25 nice throws with your reward of five Cosma candy XLs. And the total rewards for the step were 25 Necrozma candies, 1,000 solar or lunar fusion energies, and 25 Cosmo candies. And for the last and final step, you have to power up a Pokemon 20 times with your reward of 10 XL Cosmo candies. Use Necrozma with either Soul Liga or New Lunana with your reward of 10 Necrozma XL candies and then 5 raids with your reward of 3 rare candies. The total rewards for the step were 1 Elite Fast HM, 1 Rare Candy, and 1 Elite Charge TM. Well, Go Fest 2024 is in the books and I caught a total of 13 shinies. Yes, I caught a total of 13 shinies during Global Go Fest with five on the first day and eight on the second and final day of this event. In the meantime, this is Lewis saying thanks for watching everyone. You can also follow me on Instagram, Threads, Twitch, TikTok, and Facebook. Remember, it's time for adventure. I will see you all in the next video, which will be Tynamo Community Day.